Also in Cochise County, a local college is offering innovative training in the field of behavioral uh, health. Uh, Dine on your side's Craig Smith shows us the program at Cochise College. Behavioral health affects just about everything in your life. Cochise County has a program that uses technology and even acting to help prepare people for that field. The weather is really bad. I just lost a loved one in my family. Are you feeling like harming yourself or others? No, I just wanna just find a dark corner and just cry. Cochise College offers a wide variety of medical training with the awareness that there's a behavioral health component to any medical case. And the people doing basic care at the bedside may have the most contact and the best opportunity to assess how someone's feeling not just physically, but psychologically. Program graduates will not do direct counseling as much as share what they hear with other providers so they can adjust treatment. The same mannequins that simulate a patient's vital signs can simulate behavioral health issues with the help of instructors in a control room nearby. For live action training, a retired nurse volunteers to play the role of someone having serious behavior issues. She's very convincing. She will sometimes have bottles of alcohol hidden. She'll, she's come in with toy mice coming out of her hair. There's such a need for behavioral skills that Cochise County earned a grant from the Legacy Foundation of Southern Arizona. That grant makes the 16-week course tuition-free for the next three years. Nursing and Allied Health Dean Bethany Hill says graduates can expect to earn $18 or $19 an hour. And the program is not just for health professionals. First responders like police and firefighters can learn behavioral health techniques to apply to troubled people they encounter. It also has a whole lot of de-escalation techniques and crisis situation management so that our first responders are able to navigate a behavioral health emergency safely, um, safely for them, safely for the person having the crisis. And Hill says with the stress from the COVID pandemic, the need for behavioral health training just keeps growing. In Sierra Vista, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.